I'm Steve Liam from Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. Welcome to Daily Hope. I think that many of you will know the name of Garrison Keillor, the speaker and radio personality who started and hosted a weekly radio show called A Prairie Home Companion. It ran for 42 years and attracted up to 4 million people weekly. Keeler's folksy humor gently poked fun at small Midwestern Scandinavian communities during a segment called News from Lake Wobegon. I occasionally laughed out loud at the few episodes I was able to catch, but I recently came across a piece that Keeler either authored or quoted. It's all about Lutherans, and if you've got a sense of humor, it's really funny, with a definite element of truth in it, Though I might add from recent observations, I would add the line, some Lutherans believe. But judge for yourself. Keeler writes this. The following list was compiled by a 20th century Lutheran who, observing other Lutherans, wrote down exactly what he saw or heard. Lutherans believe in prayer, but would practically die if asked to pray out loud. Lutherans like to sing, except when confronted with a new hymn or a hymn with more than four stanzas. Lutherans believe their pastors will visit them in the hospital, even if they don't notify them that they are there. Lutherans usually follow the official liturgy and will feel it is their way of suffering for their sins. Lutherans believe in miracles, and even expect miracles, especially during their stewardship visitation program or when passing the plate. Lutherans think that the Bible forbids them from crossing the aisle while passing the peas. Lutherans drink coffee as if it were the third sacrament. And Lutherans feel guilty for not staying to clean up after their own wedding reception in the fellowship hall. And then, Lutherans think that Garrison Keillor's stories are totally factual. And Lutherans still serve jello in the proper liturgical color of the season, and think that peas in a tuna noodle casserole add too much color. Lutherans believe that it's okay to poke fun at themselves and never take themselves too seriously. And finally, you know you're a Lutheran when it's 100 degrees with 90% humidity and you still have coffee after the service. Or you hear something really funny during the sermon and you smile as loudly as you can. Donuts are a line item in the church budget, just like coffee. The communion cabinet is open to all, but the coffee cabinet is locked up tight. And when you watch a Star Wars movie and they say, May the force be with you, you respond, and also with you. There may be little redeeming value in what Keeler wrote or quoted, but it reminds me of a line from a speaker I once heard who said, Angels can fly because they take themselves lightly. He's also the speaker that told the audience, there is not one single piece of scientific evidence to suggest that life is serious. I think we can all use the reminder to lighten up and take ourselves lightly. Will you join me with prayer? Heavenly Father, uh, the serious element in all of this might simply be to be able to laugh, to laugh at ourselves and one another to find the grace and humility to recognize ourselves in some of these statements and just thank you that you love us irrespective of our little quirks and foibles and faults in fact you forgive us and you welcome us and you delight in many of those things that cause your people to be so various and so very different Will you teach us what it means to be one in Christ and to celebrate those things that unite us rather than those things that divide us? And uh, help us to laugh this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dear friends, remember this and every day that you are loved and you are never alone.